السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اہل و سہل و مرحبا بکم اختبر نفسک الوحد الوحدات الثالثۃ و رابعت جا وقت الاختبار سو ناؤ اٹس ٹائم فار دا ایگزام فعن اورید کا ان تختبر کا ان کفی قاعت الاختبار اینڈ آئی وانٹ یو ٹو ٹیک دس ایگزام ایز اف یو آر ان دا ایگزام ہال دیٹ مینس نو چیٹنگ اینڈ ڈونٹ کاپی ڈونٹ لوک ایٹ دا اینسرس answer by yourself first and then after that you can have a look at the answers and make sure uh, that you, your answers are okay or not and then after that uh, you can give yourself grades as well awwalan al mufradatu so the first thing we have the the vocab uh, which is really really very important and uh, in the vocab it says sil bayna shay'i wal makani connect between the thing and the place alladhi yujadu fihi in which it is found so basically we have to uh, connect between the thing and the place where it is found furnun for example furn we have seen that it's a stove so uh, where do we find it so we have ashay the thing and then we have almakan the place uh, we find it uh, where guess what we find it in the kitchen so furnun and it will be matbakh then we talk about sarirun so where do we find sarir Of course, we find it fi ghurfati naum, so we just uh, say ghurfat naum. Arika, uh, it's found in ghurfat julus. Then we have miratun, which is basically a mirror. And the mirror, as we know, uh, we find it in the bathroom, hammam. And then we have kitabun, kitab. We find it in the school, which is madrasa. And then we have salatun. Uh, which is uh, pray, which is basically prayed in the masjid so we will say uh, masjid so here now we have connected between the the thing and then the place and 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 i would like you to see uh, how many marks did you get over here so the total marks are 6 next adif kalimataini ila kulli majmu'atin Adif, add kalimataini, two words, ila kulli majmuatin, to every um, set that we have over here. So, for example, first one is athathun, and athath is used for the furniture. So, we have mir'atun, and you know, in athath, we have so many things like uh, kursiyun wa arikatun. So, you can add so many things as you want to. Uh, and if you really have good vocab, you can easily answer this question. So, athath, and then we have mir'atun. Then we have sarirun, bed, and arikatun, um, the, the cushion or the sofa. Ghuraf is the plural of ghurfatun, ghurafun, so the rooms. And we have seen that hammamun and then also matbakhun and also ghurfat julus ba ghurfat naum. And there are so many rooms that we have in our uh, house, uh, in our houses. A'dadu tartibiyatu, and now we talk about the ordinal numbers so al awwal al thani al thalith al rabi ila al ashira so you can put here al al thani and then you can also put al thalith amakin places so we have learned about different places like masjid maktaba mast and then bait and there are so many places that you can put in over here so masjid and then we have madrasa and then shaqqatun uh, which is basically apartment Af'al, uh, the verbs and af'al are really, really important. So, yadhabu and yusalli, wa, you know, y- y- yaknusu. And there are so many verbs that we have learned. So, you can put any of them over here. Yadhabu and yaqra'u and similarly, yusalli. Istifham, basically, uh, these are basically uh, the words that we use to ask questions. So, we have hal, and then we have learned about aina, and then we have learned about uh, Mada and Mata and Kaifa and there are so many of them and we have learned about uh, Aina that is used for the place and Mada is used to ask a question especially it is used with the verb A'dadun, uh, numbers and we have learned the numbers from 1 to 10 so for example Sab'atun, uh, wa khamsatun, wa rabi'atun, arba'atun wa whatever the numbers that you have learned over here then you can answer over here for example Sab'atun, Thamaniyatun, 8 and then we have This add-on, nine. Now you see over here that out of seven, uh, what your grades are. Just put your grades over there. At-tali next, ضيع علامت. And then we have put the sign, this غير صحيح, علامت غير صحيح. على الكلمة الغريبة to the word that doesn't belong. 
غريب basically is used for stranger so the word that doesn't belong so we have here طبيب مدرس مهندس and ستارة ستارة is basically used for the curtain so of course طبيب مدرس and مهندس these are the professions and ستارة is the curtain so we put just uh, uh, x on ستارة similarly we have مطبخ حمام عمل وغرفة مطبخ حمام and غرفة these are the rooms and عمل is work so عمل is different then we have يغسلو ينامو يكوي وصحيفة so the first three are verbs because they start with ya يغسل ينام يكوي whereas the, uh, the fourth one is uh, the newspaper which is a strange word الكلمة الغريبة and then we have the fourth question حافلة فرن ثلاجة and سخان so what do you think is different over here فرن ثلاجة and سخان these are the Appliances that we have our homes, hafila is the bus, so that means bus is a different thing. Then we have al awalu arabi wahidun wa thalith athalithu. So here wahidun is basically the, the number, and then it's different from the numbers that are basically uh, ordinal numbers. Ghurfatun athathun baytun wa shakatun. And here we can see that uh, basically ghurfa, bait, and shakka, they are the same, and athath is different because furniture is different from the rooms. Then we have sa'atun, masjidun, madrasatun, and musalla. So masjid, madrasa, and musalla are the places, whereas sa'a is used for the watch. So that is a different word, al kalima al gharibah. So now, alhamdulillah, we have completed our question number three. And again, now you can have a look at the answers and make sure that. Um, you check your answers and, and I hope that your answers are okay. Atali, uh, that means next. Thanian, we have atrakibu and nahwu. So we have grammatical structures over here. And in the grammatical structures, we have to sil baina juz'ay al jumlati. Now we have two parts of the sentences uh, juz'ayn and then here. Because it is used as mudaf, so the noon has been dropped. Juz'ay al jumilati. So we have two sentences, two parts of the sentences, and we have to connect them. Yaghsilu, and then yaghsilu, uh, you have to connect it with the second part of the uh, sentence. So what do you think should be yaghsilu? It will come with al malabisa wal atbaqa. He washes the clothes and the dishes. Yushahidu, and of course, Yushahidu at Tilfaz, he watches the television. Then we have Yadhabu ila, uh, Yadhabu ila al Madrasati, so we have Madrasa over here. Yaknusu, uh, he brooms or vacuums, and when you talk about the Yaknusu, it is, it, it is supposed to be the room, so Yaknusu al Ghurfata. Then we have Yakra'u, and in Yakra'u we have al Sahifata, he reads the newspaper, and then we have Yusalli uh, and pray. Yusalli al Jumu'ata fil Masjid, praying uh, or he prays uh, Juma'a prayer in the Masjid. And then we have Yaskunu, he lives and Yaskunu fi Hayy al Jami'ati, he lives in the University District. And then we have Yatawadda'u, he makes wudu, Yatawadda'u li Salah, he makes wudu to perform Salah. So here we have eight questions and now we have connected the first part to the second part and I hope that you have full marks. التالي next أكمل complete بوضع الكلمة الصحيحة by putting the correct word مما بين القوسين which is between the two brackets so we have two brackets here and between the two brackets we have to choose the correct word في الشقة أربع أربع وات so there are in the in the apartment there are four you are you want to say that there are four rooms so أربع Ghurafin uh, or Ghurfatin? Yes, it will be Ghurafin. Why it will be Ghurafin? Uh, because when we talk about the numbers from 3 to 10, uh, from 3 to 10, the numbers when something that is being counted, which is called Ma'dud, it is always plural. So from 3 to 10, the number, the thing that is being counted is always plural. Kam fi fi shaqati, so kam hammaman. And I have, to, I have told you earlier that after kam, the noun is always singular. It is nakira indefinite and also it comes with fathatan. So, kam hamaman fi shukati. Then we have tadhabu ila al madrasati. So, when do you go to the school? So, we will say, mata tadhabu ila al madrasati. Mada means what? So, mada tafalu fi al madrasati. Wa mata tadhabu ila al madrasati. And then you say, adhabu as saata as sabiata. 
I go at seven o'clock. So uh, when you have uh, make sure that when two nouns come together, uh, whether both of them come with the al or they come without al, you cannot put one noun with al and without al. That will be a different construction then. Hadihi, this is something that we learned in the first lesson. So you say hadihi hiya shakatu. This is the and uh, the, the apartment. So here. Uh, why we use here? Because shakka is mu'annath, and for the mu'annath we have to use the pronoun, which is used for the mu'annath. So here, I, I'm sure you got, inshallah, five out of five, and then we move on to the next question. اختبر نفسك الوحدات الثالثة والرابعة And this is going to be your last question. It's a long question, but you have to make sure that you read it. And then it says, القراءة reading اقرأ الفقرة Read the paragraph Fiqra with qaf, it means paragraph, and with kaf, it means the idea. Thumma ajib bi na'am, then give the answer by na'am, by yes, awla, and that means by x. Yastayqidhu ahmadu mubakkiran inda al-fajri, ahmad wakes up early in the morning, yusalli al-fajra fil masjid, he prays fajr in the masjid, ahmadu la yanamu ba'da salat al-fajri, and he doesn't sleep after the fajr prayer, هو يقرأ القرآن he recites the Quran يذهب إلى المدرسة بالحافلة الساعة السابعة and then he goes to the school by bus at seven o'clock يوم العطلة يستيقظ مبكرا أيضا and even on the holiday he wakes up earlier يوم الجمعة في الصباح يقرأ صحيفة أو كتابا and on Friday in the morning he reads a newspaper or a book ويصلي الجمعة في المسجد الكبير and he prays جمعة in the big masjid now you have to answer these questions. يَسْتَيْقِذُ أَحْمَدُ مُبَكِّرًا Ahmad wakes up early. هَلْ هَذَا صَحِيْءٌ أَوْ غَيْرُ صَحِيْءٌ هَذَا صَحِيْحٌ يُسَلِّ أَحْمَدُ الْجُمُعَةَ فِي الْمَسْجِدِ الْكَبِيرِ Ahmad prays a jumu'ah in the big masjid. So هَذَا صَحِيْحٌ أَيْضًا وَبَعْدًا we have يَوْمُ الْجُمُعَةِ يَقْرَأُ صَحِيْفَةً أَوْ كِتَابًا And on Friday he reads a newspaper or a book. وَهَذَا صَحِيْحٌ أَيْضًا أحمد ينام بعد صلاة الفجر أحمد sleeps after the fajr prayer أحمد لا ينام وهذا غير صحيح يسلي أحمد الفجر في البيت أحمد prays fajr in his house لا يسلي الفجر في المسجد وهذا غير صحيح أحمد مهندس أحمد is a is an engineer um, so we know that he is a student uh, لأنه يذهب إلى المدرسة so we will say he is a student so هذا غير صحيح ويذهب إلى المدرسة بالسيارة he goes to the school by bus by by the car لا هذا غير صحيح لأنه يذهب إلى المدرسة بالحافلة so here this is also wrong or it is x as we can see over here so الحمد لله we have completed our test for units three and four so uh, I hope you get 40 out of 40. I wish you all the best and please don't forget to share um, your numbers, your marks in the comment section of the video uh, so that I know and the rest of the uh, learners who are learning with you, they also know about your grades. Uh, I'll see you inshallah in the next lesson.